Now we need another property, public bool down. The same thing. So I'm just going to copy and paste up skit. And the keys dot down will be changed. Okay, so for public bool down, I copied the git part of the up property and I replaced keys dot up with keys dot down. So now that's it for our properties. That's all of our game all our game needs for our actions. Now we need the update method. Public Noops. Public void update. I'm going to add a comment here. Since we need to update the current keyboard state, it actually holds the last loop. State. So set the last key keyboard set as the current keyboard state before we update it. Okay. So that's in the text tutorial, that's why I added it in the video tutorial, even though I explained it. Okay, so last keyboard state is equal to current keyboard state, and current keyboard state is equal to Microsoft.xna.framework.input.keyboard.getState. And the reason we need this long call is because our class name is called keyboard. So we need to specify which keyboard we mean by this long call. Now you can change keyboard.cs to input.cs if you want, but I'm keeping it as a keyboard. Okay, so now we need to modify the is key press and is new key press. return in the is key press we need to return current keyboard state dot is key down keys in the is new key press we need to return to we need to call to state so we need the last keyboard state that is key up keys and current keyboard state that is key down keys okay now let's go back to the text tutorial now an important note, I combined menu up, menu down, move up, and move down into two properties, up and down. As a result, I needed to add an if inside each git in order to determine which method to call. For menu actions, we want the new key press, and for gameplay, we want the regular key press. This way our code is shorter. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Next tutorial, we'll discuss many screen modifications and screen manager changes. So, after we finish next tutorial, we should have a finished menu screen that will accept our input. That's it for this tutorial. Hope to see you next time.